I have drilled a few of the rivets out of this patch back here so that I can move it out. And then I've removed this section here, which was completely perforated with rust. And I've moved, removed this section back here, which was also perforated. This section here, this middle part, is also perforated. But I've left it in for the purpose of holding this shape so I could make a piece uh, to replace this and have this shape here to fit and make sure I was getting it right. Now here's the piece I've made to replace that rusted part and uh, I made it uh, over on that anvil there and uh, and using my set of, a set of snap-on uh, 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 metal hammers that I have and uh, the horn on that anvil was really helpful and then I'd bring it over here and I made it in I actually cut it in one piece but then as I got to work and because I only had it attached in this little section right here and it was flimsy I just went ahead and cut it into two pieces made it and then uh, it and then there was one third piece so and there's a series of photos after this video that will show that but so it's this piece this piece and a little pie shaped piece that goes in right here so there are three pieces all in all uh, now I'll, I'll remove this section and I flange this metal I don't know if you can see it here but I flange it so it will lay in and when I remove this metal I'll continue this flange right up to here so I can just lay this piece in nicely I fit it I know it's straight along the bottom and it's it fits well here where it needs to uh, where this other piece comes up here to make to it so I think I'm uh, in good shape there. I'll cut this piece out and put this piece in. Okay. I've got the patch set in here. I flanged the metal and screwed the patch in so that it fits flush with that steel. The flusher I can get that in there, the less body work there will be to do. And I'm very happy with the fit of it. And it down here, you see how it wraps around the bottom side there. Come up here, and you can see where I got it'll come up here and I'll butt weld it here. I got a little gap right there, which I'll hammer and dolly work that as I come as I weld around here, and uh, so that that will be flush also. And I'll just bring this old patch over here and just trim it off right there and weld them together. Plus so I got the whole body back here. Okay, I've uh, welded this patch in and I flanged the body sheet metal before I welded it in. So the result is is that the, flan the patch is in there flush. And that's going to save a lot of work when it comes to body work. And it just makes for a better fit overall. I've uh, straightened up this patch here uh, and welded it and welded where the rivets were too so there's no more pop roots in it there's uh, spot welds instead and it's welded around its edge and this bottom edge which wasn't welded is now welded uh, to a 16 gauge plate that was already in there and uh, I've also straightened this edge up because it was it was well I was just about as crooked as could be uh, and this was pretty crooked through here and if I got a ruler around here anywhere close but here's <coughs> it's uh it's a lot better than it was uh, I'm not gonna try and I'm not gonna go too far on this patch uh, 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 it's it's good enough for what it is we can body work it and it, it should be fine and uh, then in here I put this door jam patch in uh, that it's not actually two it's all one piece there. there's a couple of slice wells there but it's all one piece uh, you can look around here it fills this in and comes in like this 
comes down around like here has a little step up uh, so it steps up to that so that takes care of that and that should be just fine uh, we're we're going to be just just dandy on that there